about radio. Putting this bar through the bottom of the uh, mast, uh, when it drops, uh, it holds it against these two crowbars, and otherwise it would uh, it would want to move that way and dig a big hole in the lawn. Uh, I know that from experience. I realise there's a, a lot of repetition in the videos I've been making, so sorry about that guys. But, um, it's uh, None of this is scripted. So what I'm going to do now is just cut these uh, little uh, mouse holes in here so that uh, that'll fit uh, on there. Um, uh, but I don't want any backlash, or I want to reduce the backlash. So what I'm going to do is rather than cut a, a slot with parallel sides, I'm going to have the um, uh, the sides uh, forked so that um, as the uh, the end of the tube sits on the uh, top of that Allen bolt, it sits like that. Uh, if it was parallel, what will happen is um, uh, the thread will actually chuff away and cut into the aluminium. It's only about 1.6 millimetres. Um, but uh, by allowing it to go up into the crook of that, yeah, it'll uh, hopefully always tighten itself. So uh, that's that's the theory, guys. Probably enough, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, no, it's nowhere near enough. should have done the other side first and then I could have very easily have seen where it is exactly opposite without having to turn the mass round. Um, bugger. If I'd had enough sense to have uh, done that one first then I'd be marking my second one off on the top. So you can't think of everything, can you? Just going to get my Allen keys. I made a bit of a mess of that. Bob -bombs. I've actually got the slots misaligned, they're not at 180 degrees, and I'm spending more time thinking about the video than I am about actually uh, doing the job. That's silly. So, if at first you don't succeed, cut the end up and have another go. That's how you get this warts and all.
Now, if I'd have marked it uh, or put in the slot at the bottom first, last time, like I should have, then I could see. Now I can see quite clearly where it should go. As I say this is not good engineering practice by any stretch, but uh, it's backyard uh, engineering, I guess. Check it like what you know you should. Yep, looks okay. I think that's about as far as I'm going to go with that. Yep, that'll uh, sit in there. Um, there's uh, six mil, quarter of an inch of engagement there. So it's, uh, it, it, there's, there's nothing that's uh, going to cause that to uh, come disengaged because I've got the weight of the antenna pushing down into there um, and if it does come on and disengage for any reason um, the mast can't fall over because it's got the guys at the top okay so I say you get it warts and all guys so this is looking at it uh, from the from the top down so uh, that's uh, with the uh, drop screws in and they'll engage uh, there. Uh, you know, I was right the first time. These are not 180 degrees opposed. Look at that, that fits perfectly that way. Turn it through 180 degrees. I couldn't understand why the first time I did it, I was so far out. I, I took it for granted that they were 120 degrees apart. Sorry, 180 degrees apart. So never take anything for granted. There you go. So that doesn't fit. That's that's, lo that's located on the bottom, and you can see it's uh, it, it's. Uh, one and a half holes out. Turn it through 180 degrees and it fits. I bet that's what I did the first time. Anyway, there you go. As I say, um, I like to meet the bloke that knows everything. <laughs> yeah, look at this. That's the, uh, the end I cut off. So that was the <laughs> where I started and uh, you see it fits uh, or it would have fit in perfectly <laughs> um, but when I tried it and thought I'd got it wrong I was there um, I've just been uploaded the video onto the uh, computer and I can see the contrast is awful so sorry about that um, so uh, take nothing for granted uh, You'd think 30 or 40 years in engineering would have taught me that, wouldn't you? There you go. Anyway, <laughs> got it right twice. <laughs> These are my uh, three guy ropes at the top of the mast. 
and what I will do now I'm putting a rotator on it I'll put um, a, a plastic tube around here so that the the ropes go onto a, a stationary plastic tube or a nylon tube and any friction will be between that nylon tube and the uh, uh, and the mast rather than uh, having the mast just uh, um, wearing away and uh, possibly cutting into the ropes. Aluminium oxide is extremely abrasive. Uh, you use aluminium oxide to polish uh, glass with, um, so never underestimate it. It's uh, it's really um, uh, a, a good cutting material. I haven't got any tube that's exactly the right size, but I've got this, and it's uh, it's a sheet of uh, uh, PTFE. That's uh, polytetra fluorophylline uh, if you want to be clever uh, it's also called um, Teflon um, and the, the only thing you'll find that's slippier than this is a politician okay I've got the uh, PTFE in place there and what I'm going to do I'm going to put some tape around it this one is my fixed uh, guy um, uh, over on um, uh, the right hand side when I'm up at the house and it's the uh, uh, the one that actually s determines where the uh, where the mast falls and what I'm going to do I'm going to put some tape uh, around the PTFE and uh, this uh, uh, guy rope uh, so that the uh, the PTFE is uh, held um, in one fixed position uh, so any rotation any friction is is going to be between uh, the uh, uh, the mast and the PTFE uh, not the PTFE and the rope so this is uh, just to give you some idea I've uh, left one of the guy wires guy ropes um, a bit long uh, so that I can uh, lift the mast off the wire that's in there um, so this is let's say just to uh, verify that it's going to be something like okay first gear At the speed shown here, the uh, antenna does one uh, full rotation in uh, about 14 seconds, so I think I need to be yeah, a little bit slower than that. Um, but uh, I'm very pleased with it so far. Um, if you uh, enjoy the video, then uh, give it a thumbs up, um, so if it's entertaining or you, you learn something from it. as um, uh, I never bother looking at uh, any videos that have got a lot of thumbs down on them because I think it's a, a waste of time. So uh, your thumbs up, uh, if if you think it's appropriate, uh, it just helps others to uh, see that maybe it is uh, something worthwhile watching. And it also gives me some indication of um, what people think of what I'm doing and if it's worth bothering. Um, Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go on uh, this one. I um, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. and uh, I, I do seem to spend more time making the videos than I do actually doing the work. But I like to bring it to you, warts and all, and uh, say hopefully uh, somebody out there will learn something from it. Uh, 73s, my friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.